Hi Grade Threes, today we're going to work on a long division strategy and I'm going to start off by putting D, M, S, and B at the top of my page. These are the steps I'm going to follow when I'm solving a long division question. D stands for divide, M, multiply, S, subtract, and B, bring down. We're going to follow each of these steps in order and maybe even repeat them once too. Today, we're going to look at 5 and 368. That's 368 divided by 5. In other words, how many times does 5 go into 368? That's a pretty big number. So we're going to start by looking at the first digit. How many times does 5 go into 3? 5 doesn't go into 3. So we need to use the second digit. Can 5 go into 36? Yes, 5 can go into 36. It goes into 36 seven times. We've just divided. Now let's multiply. We always multiply the two digits on the outside. 7 times 5 makes 35. And you'll notice we're only working with these first two digits. 7 times 5 makes 35 and we've just multiplied. Now let's subtract. 36 take away 35 is 1. This should always be a mental math question. We've just finished subtracting. Now do we have an extra number on the end here that we haven't done anything with yet? Let's bring it down. We've just brought down the 8. And you'll notice we've done all of our steps. But we're not finished yet. Because whenever you have a number down here that is bigger than your divisor, you need to keep going. And you need to repeat all of your steps. So let's start dividing again. This time, we're going to find out how many times 5 can go into 18. 5 goes into 18 three times. 3 times 5 is 15. 18 take away 15 is 3. And do we have anything to bring down? No, we don't. And if there's nothing to bring down, but you have a number here, that's your remainder. Always remember that your remainder needs to be less than your divisor. It can never be more than this number or equal to this number. And if it's zero, you don't need to write down remainder zero. So 368 divided by 5 is 73 remainder 3.